Well, this episode was indubiously about life and death to be sure. I don't know what's happening to King Oger, but the last couple of episodes aren't hitting the same anymore? Because it's weird, because it feels like there are like key elements of this episode that I should have absolutely loved, but everything just felt or padded out, rushed, or just toy doesn't have money, so they would just sweep it under the rug and just explain it to us without really showing it. I don't know, I'm not saying that this episode was bad or anything, but it was just straight up boring. Again, it's weird because two out of the three key elements are Jeremy and Grody, two characters that I outright love, but I didn't really find a lot of interest to have in this episode. Himino was also a part of the episode, but I don't find Himino's character to be, like, super interesting. Like, I like her character, but uh, she's not my type of character, to be completely honest. I like the weird ones, and Himino is not weird enough. And it's so weird that now the show is very much trying to connect Grody to Jeremy, with those two characters now have the abilities to be immortal. Which is weird because I specifically remember after doing some research that the show kind of told us that he is long living, mainly because of his DNA of being both Bagnarok and human. But now he's like, oh, he's immortal. I was like, huh? Like, that's weird. Like, it shouldn't be, like, almost, what, seven, maybe eight? Let's cap it out to ten episodes before the final episode? I don't know. I just... I just wasn't feeling this episode. And also, the big reveal of Grody just being a corpse is kind of interesting, but the problem is the show didn't really show us Grody before he died and was fed a bunch of Shugard souls by Dudarujan, that could be so cool, but we weren't shown that. And if I could just come back to Jeremy, his entire reason of why he's immortal is actually dumb. The idea that literally he's immortal and he stops aging doesn't make any sense because he has a stone embedded in him, and that stone is his kingly power. But like the idea that he stops aging means that when did he put that stone inside of him? Or like the stone activated in a specific moment of his life? Like his dad was dead when he was a kid, the same with his mom, so when, when, when and who? Who? Who put that fucking stone in him? Like, I don't get it. That's actually dumb. I don't know. Like, it feels like the show doesn't really know what to do. So they're just kind of like padding out for time. So they invent new shit because they remember maybe the one time they kind of, uh, the show put and posted uh, Jeremy's artwork. And they kind of showed Jeremy without a shirt. And there is this stone here, and he's like, oh, let's just give it a reason, and not just like, he's a Bagnarok. So, of course, he would have a weird stone inside him. I don't know. Like, Jeremy and Grody, for some odd fucking reason, this episode just weren't my favorite. But, even though it was my favorite part of the episode, it's kind of weird to think about that. After I said that Himino as a character wasn't really interesting, like, I found her dilemma about life and death to be extremely interesting, specifically with Himino discovering about the jewel that Jeremy has, so it's like, oh, we can revive the dead. 
and like her conversation with Giga trying to test down her kingly power of literally draining people's life away which is cool because this is the her entire like complete opposite of what she does in real life like that's cool but like i wish it was you know a slightly more fleshed out and not a thing to do for one episode and that's it but you know we can't really do an entire arc on it because oh boy toe and tokusatsu would find it so hard to do an entire arc about a female character <coughs> Gachard, you should do that too but still like the idea her conversation with Gira when she wanted to test out her powers was so cool because like Gira was totally not into that and like she said oh you're immortal like you should be happy I was like no bitch I, I didn't ask for it like Think about it, living for pretty much centuries is even worse than dying because you need to make new friends and then watch them die. Yeah, I prefer to be fucking mortal. I prefer to die in one point than just wait. How much, you know, Himeno said, oh, you're just, you know, you, you, you recover very fast, you, you're Wolverine. When everybody knows that Wolverine kind of like can live for a very fucking long time because the way that his body works, he can pretty much almost fight cancer and just heal from it like nothing. I don't know, it's like, gosh, like I wish that we had this entire arc of Himeno really trying to do something really interesting, but it's like, ah, oh, nah, we're just going to do it maybe for two episodes and just leave it off. And... Ah, the episode concluded in the most dumbest way possible. I'm sorry. It, it, you can clearly see I'm not even trying to stretch out this review. I think this episode was fucking dumb. They decided to give Grody the stone. Pretty much giving him more power. Making him quote unquote mortal. Giving him life. Pretty much means that he doesn't need to fucking go to sleep every 30 minutes he has enough power to fucking restore the fury of the gods why those two people thought that was a good idea i understand now there is the chance to kill him but it's a 50 50 like you understand how dumb it is because now he's more powerful why like genuinely like i get the idea but it's still 50 50 just just have fucking Rita and Daiboski just encase him in stone again. Just do that. That's the perfect fit to do because you already have a winning formula. Just continue with it. I don't know. It's just, it's just dumb. I just felt like this episode wasn't really hitting as much as King Ojo was used to. And just, gosh, like, I, I wish this episode was slightly better. I wish that the conclusions were slightly better. Like, there were great scenes. I think, like, the scene between Rackless and Jeremy was fun and really interesting. And having Rackless kind of telling Jeremy to, you know, understand the subcontext was great. And that entire scenario of Jeremy... Uh, pretty much telling the Bagnarok how to mourn the dead was a great idea and gosh it was great to see Jeremy's handler being back because for fucking some odd reason we always forget that Jeremy is a part of you know the Six Nation Alliance there is a Six Nation we always forget about it because almost like that entire arc of the show of making the Bagnarok actual citizens of Shuganam kind of was forgotten upon when we discovered space was a fin and dancing dinosaurs. So what you thought about King Ojo episode 46? Comment below, let me know. Thank you all for watching the video. I hope you have a great rest of your day and subscribe to my channel if you already didn't. Thank you very much. Bye bye.